Hey guys, so today me and Sarah, my best friend, are going to be showing you a couple period or period life hacks. The first and foremost thing that you should have um, while you are watching or on your period for a life hack is a period survival kit. So basically what this is, is a just little bag. You can go on from the dollar store. I got mine from Ipsy. Um, <laughs> so it has stuff that you would need when you start your period. If you haven't started your period yet, then um, you do want to make one of these and make sure you have um, stuff for your period for when you start, like pads. If you do do tampons, just make sure that you don't use them like the first time you're on your period. Wait, make sure you got used to your periods. Refer to your doctor and make sure that you are comfortable using pat or tampons, not pads. Um, so what this has in it is a couple panty liners. So three is a couple panty liners. A couple of these thinner, but like still will make sure you won't bleed through if you have like a lighter flow. Pads and a one thick, thick, thick pad. Thick, thick, thick pad. You don't have <laughs> um, another thing you you would want to have is um, a pair of extra underwears because you never know when you're gonna start your period and if you start it unexpectedly in a class or you bleed through your underwear you always want to have a backup pair and if you're in school or anything and you have a backpack or something keep extra pair of like pants or shorts in your backpack um, and then the last thing in this period survival kit is a, I don't have any in here, but um, Tylenol or ibuprofen. Um, you can get these from the dollar store or Dollar Tree or whatever it's called. But it's basically this little capsule thingy and it just has like this tiny little screw on lid and it's perfect for, um, for medicine, for like cramps and stuff. So there's apps out there that you can use to track your period and when you're gonna have it when you have your PMS and all that stuff. And I use Clue. Cause it's mommy. Yeah. What's on it? Um, there's a calendar on it for, for tracking and it estimates, estimates when you're gonna start your period, how long the cycle is, and um, the window until like, next period just so like your period the fertile window um and then your pms and is it important that you know when you're fertile girls it is important to know when your fertile window is because you want to keep track of that as you grow and if you are having issues with that, that may be a problem when you're older. So yes, you definitely want to keep track of a period. You definitely want to find out or figure out how long your cycle is. If you're having more than one period in a month, that's not good. That also gives indication if something's wrong. And so you're going to find those things out. If something is wrong, you want to check those out as soon as you are starting a period. Some girls are not able to start periods and that may be problem problematic for their fertile window or whatever when they um, if they're able to have children later on this is definitely a time to be learning about that um, okay so also if you don't have a phone or a mobile device that you can get an app on to keep track of your period for you or estimate when you're going to start your period i suggest a calendar um because if you Start your period on a certain day. Let's say I started my period on the 8th. I would square around the 8th so that I know that I started my period that day. Um, and if you just do square and circle, then nobody has to know that it's like for your period. So I would square off the 8th and let's say my cycle lasts four days. One, two, three, four. I would circle the 12th because that, that my period ended that day. And then nobody has to know even like that it's for your period or anything. So that's an amazing way you can keep track of your period. Um, the reason why you want to keep track of your period is because um, you can get TSS from tampons and, and endometriosis and other problems, ETC. 
if you keep a tampon in too long, then it will give you TSS. So there are things that are not good to eat when you're on your period because they can make your cramps worse and they can make you PMS way worse. Um, so the number one top food that you should not eat when you're on your period is processed foods like chips. Um, because they're quickly, they're a quick and easy choice, but they can make you feel even worse. For instance, canned foods, chips contain large amounts of sodium, which can cause discomfort and bloating. Number two that you should not eat when you're on your period is fatty meats. Um, because meats contain, contain high amounts of saturated fat, which can cause inflammation and pain. Um, and it can make you suffer from menstrual cramps. Number three, which you should not eat when you're on your period, is commercial baked goods. So cookies, bread, muffins, um, jellies. Um, I know all those baked goods are so delicious, but unfortunately they contain great amounts of trans fats elevating the estrogen level. It can cause pain in uterus, in your uterus when you are on your period. Um, because bread is rich in fiber, and if you stick to a healthy diet, you will not suffer. Number four is sugary foods, so like cakes, cupcakes, all things like that. Um, cakes, cookies, candies, and other sugary foods are unhealthy options, and you should never eat these foods, especially if you want to stay healthy and slim. Sugary foods boost your mood for only a little while. During your periods, sugary foods worsen menstrual cramps and can even make you feel miserable. If you're craving sugar for some OPT, what does OPT mean? Option, I guess. Um... If you're craving sugar, sugar OPT for s some sweet fruits such as a peach or melon or mango, that would be more healthy than all those. Um, number five is ice cream, cheese, and cream. Um, I don't know about you, but I like dairy products. They contain fats that have some the same expect, uh, effects as most fatty meats. From personal experience, I can recommend to avoid eating ice cream, cream, and cheeses while you're on your period. Also, try to avoid creamy or cheesy dishes when cooking. Number six is caffeine. So coffee, um, Coke, like any kind of soda has caffeine in it. You should stay away from that. Um, cause it contributes to cramps and can cause irregular periods. Mare, moreover, it can cause more swings, mood swings and sleep difficulties. It's recommended to avoid drinking coffee during your period. You can drink teas instead. Though many of them contain caffeine, but it has less caffeine than coffee. Number seven and the last but not least, number seven, is alcohol. I don't think, I mean, if you do drink alcohol, then that's your decision, but we don't drink alcohol because we're LDS. Um, but alcohol worsens PMS symptoms and cramps. It can also cause mood, swing, mood swings and lead to depression. The thing is alcohol can act as blood thinner, increasing your flow and cause more de discomfort. Enjoy your cup of tea and stay away from alcohol and coffee. Um, most women experience discomfort during their period. If you are one of them, avoiding consuming these, avoid consuming these foods and drinks may be the perfect solution for you. What's your favorite food to eat while you're on your period? I wonder what your favorite food to eat when you're on your period is because I don't have a food because basically everything that was in there except for the alcohol and the coffee, I eat. You better work on that. Yeah. More salads. Okay, so thank, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching, you guys. Um, make sure you subscribe down below if you are not already. Comment if this helped you at all. If it helped you to learn to track your period or that there's period trackers apps um, or period survival kits. So comment down below if that helped you or taught you something about what what not to eat. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay limey and awesome.
there's apps out there that you can use to track your period and when you're gonna have it when you have your PMS and all that stuff oh <laughs> You're awesome. There's apps out there <laughs> to help you track your period and stuff, and that's when you're PMSing. And so that way you have an excuse to get junk food, and your parents will buy it for you because you're PMSing. <laughs>